I'm nowhere close to ready, but I don't think I'm doing anything else right now. Might as well stream setting up and have people kind of filter in. Also, they can view my desktop, which is great. I mean, I just anyway, um, how's it going, people? I don't think I have anyone in chat. I probably won't for the next 20 minutes. But hey, it's Cormagog. <laughs> how's it going? Hey, DJ. Nice. Nico, welcome. How are you guys doing today? Math homework? Uh, that sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, what happened to my control scheme? gonna be finishing the game today uh true ending probably assuming i've been informed right however i need to change some settings hey parker i i'm attempting the hollow knight again yes um although i do Realized I need to change something back here. Here we go. Now we should be good. All right, how was your guys' this week? I can't explain what polar equations are. I'm not smart. I think, all right, yeah, that works now. I think streams are going to be like this for at least during the school year where there's always going to be about one or two days in between streams. Your birthday is tomorrow? Yo, happy birthday. Do you just slow down when you're walking your pickaxe? Yeah, you do. I was wondering what was going on. <laughs> and I'll ask you, the reason I haven't streamed yesterday or the day before that was because I was playing Melee with my friend. And we just had such a good time. We just didn't... Like, I didn't want to stream any of it. <laughs> Melee Monday. Melee will never actually be streamed on Monday. That is a rule of the stream. boss fight is, you know, not easy to begin with, but it also is pretty easy. I'm just bad. Has the math question been answered yet? No, I don't think so. If you want to flex your, uh, your knowledge on us, by all means. Uh, he should get stabbed in the face here. Yep. Cool. Thank goodness for reverse hitboxes. What math class am I taking? I'm taking pre-calc right now. So I have to get, get ready to take calculus in college next year. Hey Quagsire, welcome to the stream. 
Alright, we'll say every time I die to Radiance, we'll add one to the counter. And um we'll do we'll do a new B every every five, we'll just say. Every time I die to Radiance though. You're two math years ahead of me? Well, things may have been learned in a different order and stuff, but I mean, probably. I think I am normally about a year behind in math. But also... Like, calculus is definitely where it starts to become, like, you have to, if, if you want to study calculus, you have to have a genuine reason for it. Like, there's, there's little, if you're not in a physics or mathematical field, there's very little reason to study that type of stuff. about that one. Polar equation is an equation that uses polar coordinates of a point. That means if you know what polar coordinates are, that explains polar equations. That is probably the worst way I've ever heard someone describe polar equations. I think by proxy it is also the best, but don't... That's not what I mean. so much dude this one I'm fine with because you can just avoid it all right here we go again you're taking calculus because you went through the other math classes too fast I've just never been interested enough in math to accelerate learning Oh right, you don't focus on the boss, you focus on not getting hit by the boss. That's two. Dodge the toothpicks. coordinates are a point to origin and then an angle of that of difference to the x-axis. Ah! That makes more sense. What's up, Quagsire? <laughs> By the time you realize you didn't like math, you were already putting the accelerated course. <laughs> Rip. I feel like math is like, it's like chess, you know, it, if you understand math and you are quote unquote good at math, you get this weird regard from people. Like it's the same of like, if you're just really good at chess, but like if you're good at a similar thing in just a less socially understood way, I guess, it's just, I don't know. You don't get as much respect even though it's an equal amount of work because of long-standing ideas, traditions. It's just, it's, it's, it's weird. But also if you understand math, you know, good for you because that does take a lot of work. Not understand, but are good at, I should say. This is... 
in the line of statements that everyone kind of agrees with, so stating them doesn't really make sense. Do you play Cuphead? No, I haven't. Hey, Chimkin Man, welcome back. I thought I was not going to be hit by that, but now I have to do this. I just don't want to go into this boss fight with, like, no health. Oh, it gives you a full reheal. What am I talking about? So that's nice free damage at the start if I can keep the soul. Toothpicks. Toothpicks are just so pointless. Has anyone found a genuine use for toothpicks yet? I feel like so someone just kind of Came up to a restaurant at one time. I was like, "Yo, you're gonna want to buy these toothpicks. They're, it's it's gonna change everything." And they're like, "Yeah, what do they do? You don't even need to ask." It's three. Mm. We're gonna be here a while, by the way. So, <laughs> get comfortable. <laughs> This is one of those streams that is going to have to be carried entirely by the fact that I can make a joke occasionally. <laughs> Toothpicks are decent at picking up fruit. Use a fork, you Neanderthal. It's 5 p.m. I have all day. Have you ever tried to lucid dream? I have, like, minor aphantasia, so I just can't. I don't actually know if that's why. Like, I, I have dreams, and I have pretty vivid dreams, but if I ever try to lucid dream at all, I literally, like, my brain just decides, you know what, you cannot picture this, and that's not happening. Um, I don't know. I think lucid dreaming is way more than, I mean, way less than people crack it up to be. It's like, oh, you can do anything in your mind and stuff. It's like... The reason things that invoke your imagination are interesting is because they can provide you with inspiration. If I'm just kind of locked in my own brain, that'd just be boring. Like, what I can come up with without any help is just so boring. <laughs> You make a casserole. You like to stick a toothpick inside to see if it's wet or the noodles have good consistency. I guess that's valid. You don't dream either. It's like 75% of the time you don't dream. I either don't dream, which is just perfectly normal. People who dream all the time have nights where they don't dream. But, or I have incredibly vivid dreams where my mind decides, you know what, it's world building time. And then it just goes and it's so weird. So this is something... The, no, the boss didn't... Wow, that was quick. That was four. The boss just said get good. Uh, no, that was Hornet. So this is something I have talked about to a couple of my friends, and they haven't... Or what I remember, they haven't, like, said much. Hey, Zyvern, welcome back. Like, they, they haven't said that they've done this. Have any of you ever revisited a location that you've been 
in in a dream like have you dreamed that you're in a location and then later on a totally separate day fall asleep and dreamed that you're back in that location have you had a sequel to your dream before because that happens like if if i i would say probably three or four times a year i literally get a sequel to my dreams <laughs> i've literally yeah this never happened to you that's weird I mean, the human mind is a cacophony of mess and just utter chaos, but like, I don't know, the fact that that may be a somewhat unique experience. How many attempts on Radiance? We're, this is our fifth. Um, the, the rule is every five times I die to Radiance, we get another B. So if I die to Hollow Knight, it doesn't matter. Hey, Frozen, welcome back. continued dreams before because usually that's whenever you've gone back to sleep see i've never done that i've only i'm dead i'm somehow not dead like i very rarely do that if i continue a dream it is from a set like it's from another night you've had sequel dreams earth cube okay at least i know i'm not fully insane then Green's pretty bad. Alright, Zyvern. I wish you the best, man. I need to dodge way closer to the- Bruh, I did not have a chance to see that coming. Okay, so Toothpicks is kind of the point where I can heal a little bit. I could also, in theory, heal- no, I can't. I need to- I need to remember that I need to be ready to add bees. It's bee time. What's the name of this bee? Chat. We'll put him- Yeah. Him funny. Well, maybe. Bob? This is one's Bob. Alright. I get a larger window for this. OBS, you gotta work with me here. There we go. It'll be my mask. Actually, I can put him over the Geo. That hides it a bit better. <laughs> Alright, there's Bob. Good stuff. Alright, now we reset the count in the next five, we get, we get a new B. Radiance that Radiance shoots out have to seem have an alternating pattern. It's not fully alternating, I've noticed, but yeah, it's not like yeah, it's predictable. I don't claim to be good at this game, by the way. <laughs> no, he has zero bees. You need to get more bees. Wait, is this screen four times? Take the stagger, free health. 
to. Oh, he just has to scream three times. Alright. If I can just keep all this soul. Like, I don't really care about health right now. Okay. I need to start caring about health because I can die in two hits. There we go. Yeah, I've noticed Frozen. Hornet's the best character. I cannot wait for Silk Song. I will be part of the YouTube problem where everyone's just playing that day one. I feel like we've gotten to another a new stage already. There's more than one thing is happening. More than one thing certainly is happening. I mean, I feel like the <laughs> get good, thanks. I feel like I was close to the end of the boss fight there, or at least the end of that phase. Hey, I have a good one, Quagsire. Oh no, you have zero bees. It's fine, I have 142 now, and I'm taking all my health. Palatina up smash. Just nerd. Alright. Give me soul. I'll just heal this one. Alright, he's almost there. I'm dead. Oh wait, no I'm not. Now I am. <laughs> get should really be spelled get. That makes more sense, don't you agree? I don't agree. Um, people always talk about English spelling reform and English making no sense, and like, I don't know. We we can just deal with it. It's 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 done us good enough this long. Like we don't have to get rid of uh, X or whatever that people always. Like, the, all those common ones. Like, that's just a dumb idea, because it makes English just harder in the long run. How is O-U-G-N-H pronounced? Yeah, that's another one. Like, I don't know. Context matters. And assuming, like, English is not good. Like, it's not a, it's not a great design language, but like no world languages because they all have history. That's kind of the point. So in the end, if words are spelled the same but sound differently, the only reason that like, there's no reason to change it unless everyone agrees, like, and I mean, everybody who speaks the language agrees that it needs to be changed, like... If everyone knows how to pronounce laughter... Is that it? No, it's, it's... Thoreau and daughter and cough. Because we can accept the context around them, then, like, who cares? Man, we're getting into the meaningless debates now. Jerk. I bet you can slip through the 
toothpicks on the short. Wow. That, oh, it does. Everything does too, of course. People didn't care to have everyone agree when they designed American English to be separate from what's spoken everywhere else. I'm not talking about dialects changing. I'm talking about spelling reform. Because dialects change over time in different areas. Like, the way people in the south, in the southern states of the United States, the way they use words and the way they form sentences is slightly different to the point of sometimes not being understandable to someone in, like, the West Coast or whatever. That's dialects. Those things change. But, like, spelling reform? There's no point to trying. <laughs> Believe it or not, American English was not always different from European English. Or, you know, English, English. America actually had a, an actual reform. I guess Webster did do stuff, right? I wonder how many of those hits actually did damage. So Webster did do some spelling reform. That's valid. But also, that was before spelling had been like, truly codified. You always have identity issues when deciding to write color a color. Well... <laughs> Here's the thing. You saying color will not have any difference on whether somebody in the States understands what you're talking about or not. I don't know. Can you tell that I don't really know what I'm talking about? Because I can. Dropping of letters was due to newspapers? No, dropping of the U was specifically a Webster thing. Uh, I know that for a fact, but I don't remember the exact reasoning. First we're talking about toothpicks, and now we're arguing over English. Well, again... <laughs> the only reason people are staying in this stream is because uh, is because of the conversations we have. Like, there is no way anyone's being actually captivated by the uh, captivated by the gameplay. Oh my goodness! Just scream already. You done yet? Thank goodness. Pretty much never get captivated by gameplay to be fair. <laughs> get That's true. I mean, the only time I can really think of that I've actually had an emotional response to watching pure gameplay is like competitive melee. <laughs> Stop it with the toothpicks. You know what? Can we go back to the toothpicks? Can we go back to the toothpicks? <laughs> <laughs> Next thing we know, Hypersonic Pineapple is going to become the most popular YouTuber because of silly commentary. Well, if only I had a sense of humor. <laughs> Addendum to that, if only I could implement my sense of humor. <laughs> Okay, like, who really uses toothpicks? That's exactly what I'm saying. The only time I used toothpicks was whenever I had braces. And that kind of was a lifesaver then, I will admit. I really just looked away from the screen and kept swinging. Did it work at all?
Oh, right, contact damage. No, I was just swinging at thin air for 10 seconds. Nice. Health does not matter for this last phase. Oh, I tried to I tried to get the frame one entry. All this talk about needing the commentary and stuff to keep people interested on stream, and then just a good couple seconds of silence as I lose this boss fight. Oh, this is new. This is new. Yo? Get him, Void. Please let there be a checkpoint. I hate this game. <laughs> well, this is significantly more difficult. <laughs> Bruh, this is gonna take ages. <laughs> this is platform face, yeah. Oh man, this is... Even competitive Valorant, you won't watch it without the casters. Yeah, that's, I mean, there's a reason anything has casters. Um, like, it's just, it, that's, that's when it matters. Like, I don't, like, I can't think. I was, like, super stressed, like, 30 seconds ago. Um, yeah, that's, that's why there are casters in those competitive events. Just so you know what's happening, like, when the emotion starts to rise, like, they're there. How many times have I done Coliseum Fools? I've done the first two, but not the third. I don't think there much there is much of a toothpick debate. I don't think any of us have ever used an actual toothpick, except for like pushing the reset button on those weird McDonald's things. Thanks, contact damage. I really feel like I want that. Oh, okay. Are we still talking about tooth? I don't know. You think I have a plan for what we're talking about? Just scream a little bit, please. Thank you. Nice. That was a quick entry. 142 bees. Yeah, crazy. Okay. This, that spell is, like, super powerful. I can heal here. I can't. I, l I was lied to by my own self. I 
think that's another B. Hey, as I think I nailed that name. Like usually I I I butcher it, but I think I nailed your name there. <laughs> All right. Put this B in this corner. Be watching on from the. No, it's too big. <laughs> it's too big of a B. I want this stream to be somewhat watchable. Okay, there we go. Perfect. God, B is watching you. <laughs> Floor spikes only do one HP. I think, well that's good knowledge to have, I think really the main goal is to not take any damage. Just have its feet coming down, that'd be great. We'll do that for the next one. Let's get some health so I don't die here. Alright, you have to alternate it. I didn't realize that actually mattered. I was way too late on that. Way too early. Ugh. Wow. Do those do two? I can't really tell. Do they do they sound like they do two? This is so hard, dude. Well, I mean, other than it being the final boss. Yeah, we're back here. And <laughs> never mind! <laughs> oh, man. Everything does too beside voids and spikes. Dude. For some reason I can't count by twos right now. One, two, three. I have, I have four hits! That sucks. <laughs> well, I really got that interrupt. I need to do a stream of learning the ultra go route again, because I do want to do that at the end of streams. Alright, here we go. We 
can farm one last mask if you need it. I guess that's true. That's too late. Alright, I'm just trying to charge through- yeah, okay. So you can, like, get through the first phase really quick. And then immediately leave. <laughs> There's bees for Geo now. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's great. The speedrun is super rewarding. I just, like, I don't know. I, the, a lot of the tricks are just really hard. And it's either you do the trick and you finish the level in 30 seconds, or you don't do the trick and you spend two minutes. And like, I want to know the trick before I actually go into it for a full run. But it's just so... It, it feels inconsistent because I haven't really practiced anything. So I just need to practice. Hey, Sodium. How's it going? Two Bs. You're not looking hard enough. Well, maybe you are and you're not counting the B kit. I did use your stream title. It was a good stream title. <laughs> I don't think I really need a last mask. Like, I can... And this is where the run ends. Yep. It's B.O. <laughs> Now imagine doing this in Steel Soul. I will never be able to complete a Steel Soul run. Like, I know somebody's probably 100% of the game without, without taking damage, but like, yeah, that's not happening. I'm excited to try to learn the speedrun route for this though. an achievement for 100% in Steel Soul? Bruh, not happening. I did low percent? I, I probably will learn the speedrun, because I think that would be... Wait, isn't low percent the 40 hours killing birds? I don't think I could do low percent. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I have such a hard time finding the gap in the toothpicks. Bruh. Forty hours killing birds is low percent true ending. Ah. Uh. You've, bun you've done both Steel Soul achievements, they're not really as bad as they sound. You can skip things like Radiance because you only need 100%. Or... I can... 
spend my time playing like Line Rider or something. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that does remind me I need to get my computer AFK and cobble dome again. Speaking of wasting time. Why am I trying to do Radiant anyway? Why do you ever play video games at all? Like, I'm trying to beat the game. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Radiant's for true ending, it's... I'm not doing a speedrun right now. You can just slip through that, that's interesting. Bruh. I just finished walking on the treadmill before I started streaming, so, like, my body temperature was still, like, up, and then I just kind of sat down and crumpled myself into this chair, so I'm just kind of, like, overheated, just kind of sitting here. <laughs> Radiance goes by... Radiance is a woman? Okay. They're all bugs, though, aren't they? Like still have gender. I guess that's true. I'm dead. Okay. Maybe I should just look at the screen. <laughs> you don't have a gender, though? I'm going to assume you're saying that about my character. <laughs> about mask guy. <laughs> That's such a postmodern insult. You don't have a gender. <laughs>
I think that scares me the most that this stream could very well end with no progress gained. <laughs> Like, the next Hollow Knight stream could start on the same bench, and we'd be doing the same thing. So that's offensive to agender people, and I will be reporting this to Kennywood. Isn't... Okay, so, frankly, definitions have never been something that I've really paid attention to, especially with the gender politics. But, isn't that itself taking a gender? Whatever, we're not gonna get into this, because I don't know enough about it to talk about it. Now that I've thoroughly cancelled my career before it even began. Alright, perfect. Great. Beautiful. Unfortunate. I literally got frame trapped by an Eldritch Sun God. It happens. This self will henceforth express all language out the use of pronouns. I think it's hilarious how every so often the entirety of humanity does learn just one somewhat niche term for something, and everyone just kind of is expected to expected to know what it means. Like, I don't know. If you ask someone what a pronoun was back in the you know, I don't know, 50s or 60s, they just wouldn't be able to tell you. They'd be like, oh, that sounds like a part of grammar. But they just wouldn't really know. But, like, everyone knows the definition of, like, what pronoun specifically refers to. <laughs> and, like, stuff like that happens all the time. Like, in 2017, everyone event, like, everyone knew what, uh, Eclipse Totality meant. And, you know, like, you can think of a couple of terms that definitely came out um, into the public consciousness during 2020. It's just weird how, like, every, everyone just suddenly, everyone, at least in the United States, just learns a new word every year, <laughs> and everyone knows what it means afterward. Or not every year, but every so often. It's just great, Among Us. That's not what I meant, no. <laughs> Well, it counts. Everyone... <laughs> no, it doesn't! <laughs> okay, so maybe not everyone knows what it means, but everyone who... Everyone knows Among Us. That's... <sighs> as a word that means... As something that meant something beforehand. <laughs> not... A random collection of letters that is meant to spell out the, uh, the onomatopoeia of saying the name of a popular video game. <laughs> Sodium, I don't know if that's okay. That is... Messed up, dude. <laughs> uh, I admit that's funny, but... <laughs> Literally the fact that you mentioned the Bible is not the sticking point of the joke. <laughs> Uh, 
Everything is in the Bible. That's not quite true. If you do want to have a fun time reading the Bible, read Judges, in all honesty. It is really... It's a fun book to read. Um, Judges. Because, uh, you know, someone gets impaled with a tent pole halfway through. Like, it's it's good. Um, yeah. And Proverbs is genuinely good wisdom. Like, people read off the Bible because, you know, people have used it blindly as an example of defending their own political sides or whatever for a while, but it's got some genuinely good things to say about stuff. It also is genuinely a bit less extreme than people expect it to be. Then again, I just did say someone got stabbed with a tent pole. But I said what I said. <laughs> people say the Bible is bad simply because the Bible didn't go out of its way to say that Jesus did it. It's such a weird argument. Yeah. The Bible doesn't say that much aside from be kind. I would disagree with that point. Um. <laughs> but, yeah. The Bible is literature? It sure is. <laughs> it's also pretty solid history. At least... The New Testament has a lot of stuff backed up about it from uh, secular uh, secular sources, which is pretty neat. Anyway, yeah, let's move on. Bible is actually many books of all time. Sixty six, if I remember correctly. It's a crazy thing about how much history is lost to time. Yeah, I mean, then again, not a lot of it was important. Like, up until the advent of, like, the steam engine, or I guess the printing press, but, but up until that, like, they're really, the changes from one century to the next l literally were almost indistinguishable. There was a war that lasted for 106 years just because people kind of just figured, you know what? We've been fighting them for my grandfather and my great-grandfather's lives. We might as well keep fighting them. It's, it's part of our life. Like, I don't know. That stuff's super weird. Nothing actually changed up until we figured out that that funny electricity stuff did some things. There's a, I was about to say genuine possibility, but there's a almost 100% certain possibility that there were country, there have been many countries that have begun and then died off without any historical record. Like it genuinely could have lasted for hundreds of years and you know, nobody really made a note of it.
I'm thinking specifically in the Roman time, because most of the people who kept records back then were Roman, and... Um... They really just viewed anything from the outside world as just barbaric. Romans were jerks. I mean, I have nothing against Italians now, but Romans? <sighs> And contact damage is the best. Yeah, who knows what was happening in the Amazon rainforest for that long. Yeah, stuff like that. African countries are crazy. African peoples and stuff. Because countries themselves were kind of a European invention. <laughs> I missed by frames. Sad. Also, I think it's time for a B after this one. Ah. There's still uncontacted treads in the Amazon. Yeah, isn't there like one island that nobody's been to or something like that? My favorite part of the day is at the end of these streams going back through and deleting all of the bees. I'm just kind of sitting over here in the corner. All right. So in New Guinea, maybe the Congo. Are there still cargo cults? Because those are definitely contacted tribes, and I wonder if we've told them that the war's over yet. I do realize that takes a very simplistic view of, uh, of the entirety, the, the psychology and everything of the cargo cults, but that is just another fascinating thing if you've never heard about that to look up, to uh, read up on. Are you the only one who thinks the Democratic Republic of the Congo is a really long name for no reason? That's an odd beef to have with an entire country, but I respect it. Have you tried emailing their embassy? They might be able to do something about it. You should call it Dr. Congo. Oh, I love that. Doctor of the Congo. I'm sorry, I did not hit that spike. And I was out of dash, so there was nothing. Well, there was something I could do, but I forgot to do it. I guess it's good to distinguish it from the non-democratic Republic of the Congo. It's like an enclave that is just needlessly authoritarian. If uncivil engineers.
Welcome back, Frozen Fire Ninja. Nothing's changed. Emer Breaker activation date is a. St hey, you, uh, what? Mind explaining? The Republic of the Congo is a different country. I'm aware. I just like the idea of the undemocratic Republic of the Congo. Anyone excited for the femur breaker activation? It's like the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Awesome. Because <laughs> that is a democracy that is for and by the people. Really top class stuff there. I don't stream for a solid week, you know what happened to me. Oh, we're on this phase. This phase is easy. Use Descending Dark. I know it gives me iframes. It's probably better on this where I have limited space. Hello. Nope. need health. No, it spawned on me. Gosh, dang. <laughs> You've already activated my fem your femur breaker. Dang. Oh. My hands are sweaty. Vomit on my sweater already. It's mom's spaghetti. Tries to open his mouth, always seems to say something foul. He's crying now. Hey, Goose. It's femur breaking time, and he just morbed on all of those guys. I still think that is utterly hilarious. The fact that. We got Sony to re-release a terrible movie, and then nobody saw it again. It, honestly, one of the one of the internet moments of all time. Long lanky guy. Well, it is, it's the kind of the perfect meme in a meme economy that is currently very much pointed itself against being anti-corporatized and uh, very much anti, you know, big company, Warner Brothers and Sony and all that, that uh, thought I just don't get hit by those. That Oh, I, I hit the gap. Bruh. 
Okay. Uh oh, Radiance, yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing? Awesome. We're here. This is a chance to die again. Yo. Hey, rain eye day? I don't think you're the rainy day I know. Why were we talking politics? Uh, I'm just kind of talking about whatever comes to mind because even more than usual, the st <laughs> what there is to watch is nothing. Hey, Moonlight. Been a while since you've made it to the stream. Welcome back. You only show up on Hollow Knight streams and only sometimes. You should fight any Radiance? What? It's like Radiance, but easier. <laughs> That's good to hear. He should be close. Probably after this attack. Dang it. There we go. Any, any Radiance was the joke modded bars that was supposed to be impossible, but tons of people have actually beaten it. Interesting. That's my favorite thing about video games, uh, and specifically dev cycles. Not dev cycles, but the developers in general. Bro, I got fried. Um. But, like, they will make challenges that are supposed to be impossible, but then they technically give you a chance. So, and because gamers, if there's a little chance, they're gonna do it. he started attacking. I cannot stress how hard it is. Well, it's really not that difficult because I'm able to do it. But <laughs> it is a weird reading chat and playing video game at the same time. Yep. We're finding better spots to put the bees now. Is that consistent? You dash under him? Are you gonna find a spot? Because it feels random, but like, that's worked pretty mindlessly for like, past multiple tries.
it's oh man, I'm losing it. All right, um, I'll say three more attempts just because also I have to eat soon. Whenever I get good at video games, I have a bit of regret about ins instead not investing my skill points into music or something. That goes back to what I was talking about at the start of the stream, and I honestly forget who was there at that point. But, like, there's this weird thing that you're allowed to invest time and effort into some things that are practically useless, but not others. Like, it's much more, quote-unquote, socially acceptable to devote hours into learning an instrument, even if you don't plan on becoming a professional musician, than it is to spend time getting good at video games and stuff, even if you're not going to be professional in that regard. Just because it's a weird stigma that music is inherently more classy or something? I don't really know. But... I don't know. It's just, it's one of those things that kind of always bugs me. But I also hate whenever people talk, talk about, uh, I mean, bring up double standards. It's just like, just deal with it. And I do, but... It is weird, and something that does frustrate me a little bit. And that doesn't go for every double standard, but meaningless ones like video games are, you know, a slightly more niche thing than music. <laughs> Statement's now clarified, I think we can continue with this playthrough. Well, that sucks. I'm dead. How did I hit that gap? Yep. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna say this is my last attempt. Doesn't matter how far it gets, because I am hungry. <laughs> and I think I've been streaming for like two hours. Might also be connected to how old a medium is. I think at some point reading novels had the same reputation as other media have today. Well, reading books is very constructive. That is perfectly valid. I think I think you have a point there. Um Because yeah, there was definitely like, the, the stuff that people talk about, like, kids are always on their phones these days. Like, at the turn of the century, like, 18th to 19th, not 18th, the 19th to 20th century, there was that exact thing that, um, people were like, oh, the new generation are always reading these books and not experiencing the actual world, so. Like, yeah, I think you actually have a point. I have not killed Mothman. Um, I have not gotten close. Not sure how I got that. Not sure how I didn't take any damage there. But yeah, this is my last try. Um, regardless, welcome to the stream, Mateo. Mothwoman, you're true. You're right, you're right. Sorry. Um, it's a mindless default that I... Have that I understand does need to be worked on. About to say, boy, I didn't take damage right off the bat. Isn't that great? And I was like, nope. <laughs> Moth them. Uh, 
Pineapple misgendered a moth in a video game about bugs. We're canceling him. Oh, man. Not again. Alright, well. We learned. We got places. Pineapple is over party. Thank goodness. I can go back to just playing video games normally. <laughs> nah. <laughs> this is... Streaming's fun. Um, but I might as well announce it here while everyone's kind of still in the stream. Uh, first of all, I have a Discord. If you're not in it, it's in the description. You can hang out and get notifications later. Um, a cry for help? Yeah, totally. But also, uh, during this semester, because I have so many classes, um, uh, college prep. Anyway, um, because of that, I think streams will be one to two days apart, so, like, I'm probably not streaming tomorrow, but we'll see. Uh, but it's super inconsistent, you can join the Discord and get actual notifications when I do, uh, start streaming, so you can do that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever it is at this point, and, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Um, now I have to tab through all my windows and stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all the bees. I like the bee out, that's kind of my favorite visual joke of this entire stream. The upside down bee is good, but like, the bee out is hilarious. We'll, we'll leave him there. <laughs> anyway. Oh man. <laughs> Literally, stream reached a high, like, a high for viewers. We have 10, we haven't had 10 viewers this entire stream, now it's time to leave. <laughs> Everyone watch this ad before I end it. <laughs> Bye.